All right, here we're going to do another example of solving a homogeneous differential equation by doing a little change of variables. So the first thing we really need to do is make sure that this is homogeneous. And I think uh, basically does each term, does the each, each term have uh, the same degree? Well, let's see. Um, in the numerator, we've got y to the third. Well, that has degree 3. We have y squared times x to the first. We have to add the exponent, so that also has degree 3. Then we have y to the first times x squared. That also has degree 3. And again, y times x squared, that, each, uh, that also has degree 3. So uh, yes, they all have the same degree. In this case, uh, each term has a degree of 3. All right, so what we do is we take our equation. We just take our differential equation and we multiply by 1 over x to the degree. So in this case, the degree is 3, so that's the exponent that we use. Well, if you multiply the numerator by 1 over x to the third, we have to do the same thing to the denominator. All right, now I'm just going to simplify a little bit. This will be y to the third over x to the third we would have y squared times x over x to the third, y times x squared over x to the third, and then we would have y x squared over x to the third. All right, well, again, we can keep simplifying this a little bit more. So I'm going to write the first term as y over x all to the third power. Notice we would have y squared over x squared when we cancel out the x's. So we can write that as y over x squared. And let's see, x squared over x cubed would just be an x in the denominator. So we would have y over x. And again, this is exactly the same thing. So we'll have another y over x. So again, this is our dy over dx, our original differential equation, uh, just by changing it a little bit. All right, so that's one thing we'll do here. Now here comes our substitution. We're going to let v equal y over x. So um, notice if you plug v equals y over x into our differential equation, we'll get, well, dy over dx equals, again, if we just substitute it in, we'll have v to the third plus v squared plus uh, v and I guess that's all being divided by v. So let's see here. Um, the other thing we're going to do is take this equation, and we can multiply by x. And that would give us y equals x times v. And again, we're going to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides. And again, all this is going to do is create another equation that involves dy dx. And that's what's going to be useful. So on the left side, we have dy dx. On the right side, we've got to use the product rule and implicit differentiation. So the derivative of 1x will just be 1. We'll leave the v alone. Plus, now we'll leave the x alone. The derivative of uh, 1v will be 1 dv dx. And again, now we have, we have two equations that involve dy dx. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these equal to each other, and then we'll solve. We'll have a, di a separable differential equation. All right, so on one side, we've got v plus, v plus x dv dx. On the other side, we'll have all of uh, this lovely stuff. Um, notice, again, we can simplify this. So I guess let me write it once. v cubed plus v squared plus v all over v. So, okay, if we simplify v to the third over v will be v squared. v squared over um, v to the first will be a v. Then we'll have v over v, which will be plus 1. All right, we can subtract v from both sides. So if we subtract v from both sides, those will just cancel out. And then we'll have x times dv over dx equals v squared plus 1. So 
So we can multiply both sides by dx. So the dx would go over to the right side when we multiply. And again, we want to put the v's on the same side and the x's on the other. So I'm going to multiply by 1 over x. I'll have 1 over x dx. And then I'm going to multiply by 1 over v squared plus 1. Or again, you're just dividing the x over and the v squared plus 1 over times dv. Hey, now everything is nice and separated. We can integrate. So the integral of 1 over 1 plus v squared dv, that's going to equal the antiderivative of 1 over x dx. Well, hey, these are actually uh, things that aren't too bad to integrate. The antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus v squared, that is arctangent of v. The antiderivative of 1 over x dx, that's going to be the natural logarithm of x plus c. And again, the last thing we have to do now is just undo our substitution. So again, we uh, plugged in. We let v equal y over x. So we can substitute that back in. ln of the absolute value of x plus c. Um, I guess if we wanted to, we could even take tangent of both sides and then multiply it by y. Um, certainly this would uh, be a valid solution. I guess we could always take tangent of both sides as well. So tangent of arctangent of y over x, that would equal tangent of the natural logarithm of x plus c. Um, so on the uh, left side, we would just be left with y over x equals tangent of the natural logarithm of x plus c. And now we can multiply both sides by x. And again, just another way to express our solution. Maybe this way is a little preferable because now we have the y all isolated. Um, looks a little prettier to me. So um, again, they're both equivalent, but I would say, you know, it wasn't too terribly difficult to solve for y, so that's what I would do in this case. So um, again, same basic procedure. You're just dividing by 1 over x to the power. Uh, that's going to give you lots of y's over x's substitute those things. Um, again, when we do our substitution, v equals y over x, you'll always end up with this expression, uh, v plus x dv over dx. And then, you know, kind of the thing that's going to change, obviously, will be the differential equation. Set those equal to each other. Hopefully, uh, you know, obviously the integration and separation can be a bit of algebra mess. Uh, the integrals can be tricky as well. Maybe you've got to do partial fractions or integration by parts, or I guess anything could really happen. Um, so um, probably more partial fractions type of stuff. Um, natural logarithms, a lot of those should probably crop up. And once you have that, again, it's just a matter of unsubstituting. And if possible, without too much difficulty, uh, usually people definitely uh, try to solve for why.